Hi, right, welcome to Grid Down Preparedness. My name is Wade, and we're on day 41 of being off grid. I was going to make a video yesterday, but I had to work 12 hours overtime at work, so that didn't happen. But we're here today. It's Sunday morning. I uh, didn't really have good sunny days the past couple of days. I've used a lot of uh, electricity doing tasks around the house. And a lot of you guys have been suggesting that I get some sort of uh, 58 volt or 48 volt nominal charger to recharge the power stations in the absence of sun. So this is what I came up with on a budget. Uh, I got this hex watt from Amazon. It's a 58.4 volt charger, 20 amps. And I've got two bus bars that are rated for, I believe, 100 amps. And this only puts out 20 amps, so that's not a big deal. And the bonding cable back here, the most power I've ever seen go through that is at most 5 amps. So not a big deal. Everything is intentionally oversized comes with this little Anderson connector right here. It had some smaller connectors on here that didn't fit over the top of the, the lugs. So I put these on there, crimped and soldered. So those are there. It also comes with these little jumper style cables that you can use like to charge a golf cart. Um, it seems like everything should work, so we're gonna test that out. And reason being, Right now, I'm at 41% state of charge on this battery. And I am at 45% state of charge on that battery. Now, normally, they stay within about 1% or 2%. But that's not the big thing to look at. It's what the actual battery voltage is. And in this case, we do see about a two-tenth of a volt difference between the two batteries. So this power station over here is sitting at... 50.9 volts. Well, this one over here is sitting at 50.1 volts. So I've got this little project going on because winter time's coming. We're going to start getting some cold fronts. And if I don't have the solar to charge, I'm going to have to go back on grid. And I really don't want to do that um, unnecessarily. Now, for Thanksgiving, of course, this is not going to run an oven and a stove and a smoker and a house full of people. It's just not. Uh, we're just testing the emergency backup. And in case you're wondering how I'm gonna charge this and why I went with such a small unit, let's take a walk over here. Over here, I have my 30 amp, 120 volt inverter generator. Using that with this, I can put this in eco mode and I've already tested on eco mode at about a thousand watts. This thing runs for about 18 hours and it's really quiet, really efficient. Um, one of the issues though is that this unit here will shut down after 12 hours of charging. So it may require unplugging, restarting, haven't crossed that bridge yet. Right now, this is a backup to the solar. And that's what the game plan is for right now until I get some more solar panels up and the arrays high and getting as much sun as possible. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.